Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone and a very good Sunday afternoon to you. Uh, below normal temperatures for uh, the entire weekend, I should say. And uh, if you are the fan of the uh, cooler temperatures, you might want to enjoy it because things are uh, slowly going to be changing as we move forward going into the week ahead. But outdoors right now, a live look at our CCRV6 weather bug and have some blue skies. A pretty nice Sunday for us here and temperatures are pretty comfortable. We're at 73 degrees with that dew point still holding on to the mid 50s and humidity at 51%. But there's the key right there. This is why things are going to be changing once again because we're starting to pick up a southeasterly wind at 10 miles an hour. And this is because high pressure is starting to move off to the east. That's what leads our weather story. And uh, again, that means increasing humidity across South Texas. And of course, it's also going to mean warmer temperatures as well. Now, early in the morning, still we're going to be seeing those temperatures right at about 50 to 60s. And uh, that's going to be close to the actual dew point. So we'll start to see some early morning fog possible, especially for the inland areas, not so much near the coastline and especially for low lying areas. So use caution on your early morning commute over the next couple of days, especially in the morning hours over the next 48 hours. And the next cold front for us here that we're going to start to watch will arrive late Thursday and it's going to arrive with some cooler and drier air. Once again, it'll be windy just like our previous fronts and also presents us an opportunity for some showers as well. But here's why it feels so great outdoors is because the dew points are still holding on to the 40s and 50s. But notice near the coastline, they're starting to get closer to the 60s, but still it's uh, pretty dry to comfortable across the region. And again, just want to show you very quickly on what we can expect as far as vis visibility is concerned early in the morning. Notice uh, even here in Corpus Christi in the inland sections could see that visibility dropped to about one to three miles. So use caution and about three to five right near the coastline before everything begins to burn off. So again, we're in the 50s right now as far as dew points are concerned. As we go into tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, those will pretty much be back into the middle 60s and that's going to be in the humid range. And even on Thursday, ahead of that next frontal boundary that again arrives Thursday night, uh, we're going to see those dew points back into the uh, lower 70s there. So quite oppressively humid by the time we get to that next frontal boundary. Cloud coverage is on the increase right now. Some mid levels, even some upper level clouds are across the region right now. So as we look at the evening forecast, we're at 73 right now, expected to fall into the uh, mid to upper 60s by 10 o'clock for tonight with those southeasterly winds 5 to 10 and notice even early in the morning overnight those winds really begin to relax and that's why I think we'll see those temperatures eventually fall into the upper 50s here in Corpus Christi. Our inland communities will be closer to the middle 50s and right near the coastline. Of course, that water is going to keep you just a tad warmer, but still cool into the middle 60s there. So we start off tranquil and cool, mainly cloudy at the noon time frame. In fact, over the next several days, the clouds are going to play a huge part and they're going to stay with us here. 79 at noon and still holding on to 79 at 5 o'clock with increasing humidity on our way to an afternoon high of 81 here. Mid 80s for our inland communities and staying into the middle to upper 70s from Rockport down to the Naval Air Station. Those, so there's the high pressure off to the east of us that gives us return flow off the Gulf of Mexico. Little disturbance off to the west stays there and we have the next frontal boundary up to the north. This is actually going to race pretty quickly down to the south, but it's only going to skirt us here in the coastal bend, unfortunately, and that is expected to arrive on Tuesday. Presents us a little bit of an opportunity for a shower or two, but that's just the about it. Cold air up to the north. Those are going to be modifying. Notice we have more of a zonal flow across the region right now. So as we track this down for you going into the next couple of days tomorrow, more clouds that'll be warmer, increasing humidity over the area and only a stray shower with that fizzling frontal boundary. And then as we go into late Thursday and on into Friday, there comes that next frontal boundary. So our NEC co-op energy seven day forecast shows 81 and 59 tomorrow. A couple of 82s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Next front Seth comes late Thursday and on into Friday, then cooler and drier. And not a hint of the 